comes new clothing and accessories out in stores that we want to get our hands on. I've been grabbing some things in the last few weeks from stores and the bags have been piling up in our living room and I'm finally bringing it all in here to show you guys what I got and then I will finally put everything away. It's going to be clothing first, then we'll move on to shoes and then accessories and then last but not least, a new handbag that I got. <laughs> Some of the clothing is casual, and then I have some other clothing that's for work, so you'll notice that some items aren't really spring-esque, but that's because I wanted to buy really basic, good pieces of clothing that I can wear to work throughout the year. So we're going to start off with this sweatshirt from H&M. It has floral print, and it's an oversized sweatshirt. Just gray and it has some floral print, and I just thought it was really pretty. When it's hot here in Phoenix, I think businesses try to adjust and blast their AC or to compensate for the heat outside and you end up getting sick more often I feel like when the AC is just blasting so I like getting sweatshirts like this because this is still pretty thin it's not a really thick sweatshirt I got this dress from H&M that I thought would be great for work it has pockets up here and then it also has pockets down here very similar ones and this is gold this is all gold, which is my style. I prefer gold over silver. And this goes down to the knee, so it's very work appropriate. And it has that right there, so it kind of rolls up on the sleeves. And it has this belt right here. So I thought that looked really nice. More dresses for work from H&M. And this is also in navy. I got two of the same dress because this dress is so flattering. It's a very, very simple dress that I can pretty much wear to anything, but it's very work appropriate. Again, it goes down to the knee, and I'm 5'3", and it goes right down to the knee, so it works out, and it comes with a belt. I may switch this up and use my own belt, but it does come with one. It has a flared bottom, but it's not too flared. It's just slightly flared, and that works out for me because I have a pear-shaped body. That's why Dresses like this work out really well for me. I got this in navy and also in black. I just figured I should get it in black because you never know when you need a classic black dress. And I think I'm just going to pair these with a colorful cardigan. That is a tongue twister. Colorful cardigan. So that way it's okay to have the plain, basic, dark dress because I have quite a few cardigans in my closet that I can wear over this. I got a chunky sweater from The Gap. It's just gray and really slouchy and this will be a nice casual sweatshirt or sweater to wear on the weekends or whenever I'm just going out and running errands or something like that. When I went to The Gap, it was 40% off the entire purchase, so it really worked out. So whenever I can find classic tees at stores, especially neon, I'm all about it. So I got this one at The Gap, and I also got the neon green one from J. Crew that I wore in my last two videos, if you've seen that. And speaking of t-shirts, I got more from Target. And again, neon. I'm all about the neon. Wow, this is really bright. I apologize if that just blinded you. But I got these V-neck tees from Target. It was by three... Ugh, what was it? It was like three for 18 or something like that. I think each one was only $6. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. So I got this neon pink. And then this one is a peachy, light peachy color. And then I thought this was pretty. It's like kind of like a light blue, almost like minty tee, and it has light lime green stripes going across. So again, really bright colors, great for spring. I went to Old Navy and picked up some more things, and this is another t-shirt, really plain tee, and it comes with a pocket right here, really casual, and I think this will be really flattering with just jeans and It'll be really nice and casual for the weekends. And then I also got this t-shirt, and I didn't really need it, but I thought it was really cute. It says, love more. So, got that. And then these pants from Old Navy looked really good for work. And this is the Diva, but it's the skinny ankle version. I think there's another version of the Diva, but this is the skinny ankle. And it's really durable, really stretchy, and just a really classic black pant. 
And then I also got one in khaki, which I thought will be nice for spring and summer. The last item of clothing is something that I'll just be wearing indoors in my home. They're pajama bottoms from Forever 21. When I saw these, I got so excited because they are freaking adorable. Ta-da! Look at these pajama pants. These have macarons on them. Macarons? I know some people say macaroons. I think it's macaron. I don't know. But yeah, that's what that looks like. So it has the pretty dessert that we're all obsessed with all over these pajama bottoms. And the colors are coral and pink. <laughs> All right, so that is it for clothing. Now we're moving on to shoes. And I got this pair of flats from Target and they are mint green flats. I never really see mint green flats or mint green shoes anywhere, let alone at Target for a really good deal. Really cute and simple. And I wear size six shoes in case you were wondering. You can see it right there actually. And the other three pairs of shoes that I got are for work so they're not going to be casual or springy or anything at all but I wanted to show them because I like to incorporate all kinds of clothing in here in case you are looking for ideas for work. So I ended up getting three pairs of shoes from Michael Kors and that's never happened to me before. I've actually never purchased Michael Kors shoes before this. I've always heard that they're amazing and they're super comfortable and classy but I never got my hands on them, and now I know why everyone raves about Michael Kors shoes. I parked at Macy's to get to H&M, and I was passing through the women's shoe section, and of course they had a deal going on. It was buy two or more shoes and get everything 25% off. So, I looked around again, didn't find anything that was that great, except these pumps for, for school. I almost said for school. Wow, I wish I was still in school. So I found these for work and I thought they were super classy and I will be able to wear these for a long time. And the heel is not too high, which is perfect for me. The reason why I've been looking for new shoes for work is because I got a new job or promotion within the company and I'm gonna have to go out a lot and meet a lot of people and I just wanna look really classy but also be very comfortable. So I didn't want to get a heel that was too high, so I got it in black, and I also got it in nude. I'm one of those people, if you find something that you like, it's really rare, so might as well get one in another color. So really happy about these, again, really classy, and I love wearing nude pumps with dresses. It's an additional 10% off because they were the display, so I ended up getting these for maybe 50 something dollars from Michael Kors, which I think is really good. And the other pair of shoes that I got, I got from Nordstrom Rack, again, Michael Kors, and these are peep toe wedges. I could not believe how comfortable these were, and they were 44% off at Nordstrom Rack. They also had this in black, but I just went with the nude because Again, I'm going to be wearing dresses a lot. I'm really short, so I could use all the help I can get, and nude shoes help elongate my legs a little bit more. For accessories, I will start off with sunglasses, and in this department, I really lucked out too because I often cannot find sunglasses that are perfect for me. And I lucked out and I bought three, no, four pairs of sunglasses for this haul. Again, I bought the same thing in two different colors. That's just how I am. So these sunglasses are from Urban Outfitters. They look like that. And also in the tortoise shell. They are just really big and flattering. This is a pair that I picked up at Target. When I first saw these sitting there on the display, I didn't think they would work for me because they are really round. And I tend to go for ones that are a little bit boxier or square shaped. But I tried these on and I loved them. And I got a pair of pink sunglasses from Forever 21. I've always wanted a pair of pink sunglasses. And I think that's just the girly girl in me. But I never wanted to pay a lot of money for them. So I found these at Forever 21 and I was so excited because they are that same shape. Kind of like the Urban Outfitter shape that I love. And they were pink, so I had to get these. When it comes to necklaces, I'm all about statement pieces, and I also don't like to spend a lot of money on them. So I usually go to Forever 21 and Charming Charlie. This right here, I thought was really pretty, and it is $10. It was $10.80. So this is a pastel pink necklace, and something like this, I looked on like bobblebar.com, it was like 
well, I don't even know, it was really expensive. And then at Forever 21, it was $10. I love pastels, so this is a mint green necklace from Forever 21. And this was $8.80, so I thought that was a really good deal too. This necklace is a little unusual because it has so many colors on it, but it was only $7, and I loved it because it looked like ca candy on a chain, really. And has a lot of tropical colors, a lot of neon colors, so I got that too from Forever 21. And real quick, I will also show you some non-statement pieces from Forever 21. And I got this really long necklace because I don't have long necklaces like this. So I got this one for $5.80 and it has a feather at the bottom and it's gold and it just has a little bit of bling on there. And this one's a really dainty necklace that has a bow on it. And I'm all about bows, and this was $3.80 at Forever 21. Now moving on to Charming Charlie. This is a necklace that I picked up because it was so cute. It's not too much of a statement piece, but just a really pretty necklace. And this one comes with earrings for $18, but I don't wear earrings. I don't have my ears pierced, so I will probably give this to my sister, which is usually what happens when I buy these sets at Forever 21. Not Forever 21, Charming Charlie. This one is $15 from Charming Charlie's. And again, pastel pink. I'm all about the pink. And I love pastels, so when they're together, I love it. And it has some gray on there too. And this one is also kind of like that tropical type of necklace and could not resist this. So it has like that bluish green here. I'm really bad with colors, I apologize. And coral. Really pretty. It comes with the earrings, but this one is only $13. So again, I will be giving these earrings to my sister. Not a necklace or anything, but might as well show you. I also got a keychain from Charming Charlie because my last keychain broke and I wanted something really cute. And this is a rose gold keychain with a bedazzled bow on it. Perfect, so me, how to get it. Oh, okay, so we are finally down to the last item. I feel like I just went through so many things. I'm getting kind of tired. It's really warm in here too. Finally decided to get a new handbag to kind of congratulate myself on getting a new job. I know that I'm just being honest. And also because my birthday is coming up, this is kind of a joint birthday gift to myself slash congratulations to myself. I don't know. So this is the bag that I got. It is a Michael Kors double zip classic tote, classy tote, classic tote, something like that. Satchel, classic satchel. I'm really bad with names too, but this is not the Selma. I already have the Selma, and I debated on getting another Selma in a different color. Right now I have the one in luggage, and I thought about getting it in black, but then I thought, is it weird to get the same thing in a different color, which is obviously what I always do, but I ended up getting something that was a little different, and it has the double zip. So this is going along the lines of that Prada double zip luxe bag or something like that, and then also a Tory Burch version of this too, and this is just a more affordable version, and I thought it was really pretty. I love Safiana leather. Ever since I got the Tory Burch Safiana leather bag, I'm all about Safiana leather. It's so durable. I wanted to get this because I wanted it to be really classy for work and be able to hold a lot of my essentials and my papers and everything in this bag at work and it's just going to go everywhere with me so I wanted something that was really durable, really classic. It was also 20% off at Nordstrom because I guess they were price matching with Macy's. They were doing a sale at Macy's and also the triple point deal going on at Nordstrom or it was going on this past weekend. That is it for this haul. My place looks like a disaster and I cannot wait to clean everything up. If you plan on going out there anytime soon to check out what's in stores, maybe you got some ideas, maybe you just wanted to know what I got, or maybe I'm just rambling. Probably that. And I think that's pretty much it. I'm getting really tired, so I'm going to wrap this up. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you for watching, and I will see you all again really soon. Bye!